Hi everyone, my name is Gonzalo. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw some mushrooms. So let's get started. Once we start to draw the mushrooms, we want to start with some simple shapes with um, the caps. These are going to be really simple. So we're just going to go with a little bit of a round shape right here. Mm, here we go. And we don't just want to draw one. We're going to go for like a little cluster. So let's do two more. Now we're drawing our mushrooms um, with uh, an upper view. So we want to draw the bottom of them. For that, we're going to draw some circles like this in beneath every single one of them. And now we're going to draw the stalks. For the stalks, the stalks go inside the mushroom right here on the bottom part. So we just draw like a little eggplant shape stalk. And for the smaller one, we kind of draw it a thinner one. And here on the big one, we're just going like with a chunky stalk. Now that you have your basic shapes, you can go ahead and start like molding the shapes to the final ones that you would like. Uh, I do like the base that I did, but I kind of want to make them like a little bit more irregular and I can make the perspective a little bit better and make them a little bit less less round you can really do whatever you want at this stage you just need to kind of find the shape you're happy with and not just stay with the geometrical shape you made in the first sketch uh, i'm going to start detailing the bottom of the mushroom the mushroom kind of uh, tapers out so we kind of want to show that just adding a little bit of a curve at the end of the circle that you did for the bottom will give the impression that the the, the bottom is, is tapered and it just tapers in. You can look at what I'm doing here, drawing a little bit of this this bottom lip, and then it kind of curves upward, and then we start adding a little bit of details to kind of help uh, with that bevel right there. Now we're going to do the inside of the mushroom. The mushroom has a little some like these gills inside of it uh, if you ever eaten a mushroom you probably dealt with them <laughs> uh, some people take them out some people don't but here we're drawing them so we're keeping them in on this particular mushrooms we're drawing um, the gills kind of uh, are concave in so we kind of have to draw our gills a little bit more curved to kind of give the feel that they are going inside the mushroom now mushrooms usually also have like a little skirt at the end of the stalk or at the beginning, depends when you start. Um, these for this ones, you just want to draw like a little bit of a curved little shape at the end of this. And these are usually very fibery, very hairy. So we're just going to do some lines uh, to, uh, for now to kind of put in place so we can later on do some more detail on that. At this point, I would say I have all the shapes I want, some of the detail, so I'm gonna start cleaning up. I just grab my little rubber and gonna start cleaning up as much as I can without destroying the drawing that I have below. So we don't want any extra lines, we just wanna have like a single cleanish line that we can later on come over and start doing detail work on it. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because this part's a little bit boring and it's just erasing. So there you go. When you are erasing at this stage, don't, don't really worry too much about getting a lot of the drawing erased. It's, it's not really a problem. As long as you can see what you did below and there's like a little shadow of what you've drawn, you can go over it and just make it really spiffy and clean afterwards. And now we're starting with our clean lines. We already have a shadow of what we drawn before below and it's clean so we can just start to kind of draw our final shape and draw our final detail on this piece it's still a bit ways off but uh yeah we can start working on it we can start doing some shading too like uh, giving some detail for example here on the stalk skirt you can do the fibers because it's a very fibrous place so we kind of 
just do some lines to exemplify it. Here on the bevel, when it's beveled, you kind of want to put some details on to kind of show that that part curves in. You can add a shadow, add some cross hatching. It's really up to you. There's no, it's no one technique that you should follow that's going to give you a good result. You just do what feels right for you at the moment. One thing I usually do, and this is my style, I usually make the line thicker on one side, the side that is shaded. Um, if that part of the line art is a little bit thicker, it does give it a little bit of depth and kind of makes it easier to kind of just do the shading afterwards. Gives it kind of a little, a little pop out feel. Now you're going to see me going a bit back and forward. I kind of go over the lines that I already had um, and try to refine them and kind of give them a little bit more of texture and detail. For example, on the gills on this big one over here, I'm kind of going over it and defining those gills a little bit more, adding some shading. And this is going to be the next few minutes of drawing, just adding more shading, fixing some line art and just making it so it looks as good as you can. On this part, you kind of want to kind of go with your gut, go with your feelings. You kind of start adding the shadow on the, the side that you feel comfortable with and just 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 keep on shading until until you feel comfortable with it now after that i'm gonna start working on some textures i mean the mushrooms are not all all, all clean on the upside so I'm just gonna draw some some nice textures some some circles to kind of give it a a little bit of a dirty look and i'm gonna draw some some smaller ones some bigger ones uh, just kind of give it a little bit more of a, of a feel. On these, you kind of want to make them oval and kind of leaning on the side that you're on. So it will give it a little bit more depth. Uh, and then I'm going to start with some light shading. I'm going to do the shading. Uh, the light is coming from the right side, so I'm going to do the shading on the left side. We kind of start with some round motions with our, um, with our pencil. Kind of just to get those uh, the, the shadows really really smooth and really really great uh, from the side that we need them to be while i'm working on the shading i also do some texture work there so when i'm drawing the shadow for example here on the on the bottom right side i'm also adding a little bit of texture that kind of goes in and it curves and, and it gives it like a rough rough texture to the mushroom mainly on the bottom part and on the corners where the detail kind of clusters you kind of want to use your shading to bring out uh, all of the little imperfections on the subject you're drawing in this case the mushrooms the mushrooms also have some crevices they're usually not completely completely smooth mainly below so we kind of want to put that in as well so i'm kind of going over and doing some lines to kind of show those crevices you kind of also want to do this because it, it when you do these it kind of helps that little form take shape so if you don't want to do it all with shading you can do it also with detail um, shading is not everything when it comes to form uh, a lot of the details do really help so feel free to add those as much as you like there's really no way to go wrong with these, so just keep at it. And we're kind of getting to the end of the drawing, so I'm just going to start using some more, some more aggressive lines, some more dark lines to kind of define the shapes. You can see me using them sparingly, uh, just kind of going over and seeing where it's missing detail. Like here, I think it should it needed a little bit more of a few hairs to really give the impression that that's like a, a texture, like a, like a hairy skirt, and the same here. Um, and after this, I'm probably going to do a little bit of, a, of some ground, a little bit of some rocks, some, some, some grass. So, yeah, I'm going to do that right now. This isn't really a grass or ground tutorial, but eh, there you go. 
I'm gonna do some of these. I don't want them kind of just floating on the page. Uh, to draw when you're drawing like really close, I just tend to kind of do some spiky, spiky stuff uh, popping from the ground because it's really close and you can actually see how the grass is. Just you know, spiky leaves right on the ground. You just add, I'm just adding here some some rocks. Then I'm just drawing like. Uh, with very geometrical shapes, I'm not really giving it much detail. The the hue of this piece is the mushroom, not the floor. So yeah, there you go. Just adding some shading so they're not just floating on the background. Here we go. And uh, yeah, I always go over everything one last time. It's it's really hard to know when to stop. But uh, yeah, sometimes you just know when it's done. And I do believe we are done. Look at that! You can use this tutorial to draw any kind of uh, mushroom, so yeah, do go ahead and draw what you would like. I would love to see what you do. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe to our channel. Also, feel free to comment below what you would like to see us draw next. For more how to draw videos and free comic books, go to biowars.com. Have a great day!